Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. Approximately 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, October 26, 2021, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Although gold sustained a drawdown in trading in New York today of just over $12, the key, as far as I am concerned, is the fact that the low that came in, which occurred at 83, was still above the 50-day moving average, and the close was above the long-standing resistance line that we have been following for the last couple of months. We will discuss this in detail on today's video report. We are currently trading overseas, and as you can clearly see, what is most important, even though we went long yesterday, is that the low that came in was above the 50-day moving average. Our stop is below that, sitting at about 74. The 50-day moving average is sitting at 1781.60, and the low today came in above both of those. Most importantly is the fact that gold closed above the resistance area that we talked about yesterday and is currently trading above that. Effectively, gold is trading a little bit higher, 60 cents above the close in New York at 1794. And my sense is that as long as we can stay above this upper level resistance line that should become our support line, I am still looking for the market to once again attempt to trade above $1,800 an ounce on a closing basis. We are looking at today's move through the eyes of a Hankanashi or Japanese average chart. The small red candle is current trading overseas. It is much too early to give that any credence, but today's candle, as you can see, has an upper and lower wick and a small body. So whereas we could see it being a pivotal candle, indicating that we will see some downside, I do believe, as I said on the prior chart, as long as we are trading above this former resistance line that I said should become support, we are in good shape in terms of our current trade. Most importantly, I think that we have major support at 1781.20, and that is the 50-day moving average. Lastly, I do want to take a look at silver. If you recall, yesterday's trade alert only included gold. Both gold and silver sold off sharply today with a stronger U.S. equities market, as well as some profit-taking with the recent moves that we have seen in both precious metals. However, we are currently trading overseas, up about 12 cents from the close in New York, currently fixed at $24.20 and a half cents. My belief is that once we get above a area of 24.27, which is not that far away, approximately six and a half cents, at that point we would look to issue a trade alert and add silver to our long positions. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.